Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, welcome to a daily dose of joy. Ah, farm edition. We are here on my family's farm and today we're gonna use the whoopsie daisy tool because you know when you get the whole family together there's always going to be some whoopsie daisies and we have blueberries down here and we freeze them so this time of year we can still have blueberry pancakes from blueberries from the farm and <laughs> this morning i was the one making pancakes you know for a large hungry crowd and I put the butter in the big cast iron black skillet to melt it. Cause when you're making a lot, you have to melt a lot of butter. Cause you had eggs and milk and butter to the flour to make the pancake mix. And, um, <laughs> but it needs to be melted so it can be stirred in, right? Can't just take a stick of butter, chuck it in there. So I thought it was super clever and poured the melted butter over the frozen blueberries. Thinking, oh, this would be nice. It'll kind of soften them up a little, you know, just make this a little quicker. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Instead of it thawing the blueberries, the blueberries were so hard, cold, frozen, and there were so many of them that it rehardened the butter. <laughs> Especially the hungry teenagers were like, what's going on in there? And I was like, well, I can offer you um, blueberry butter pops. You know, <laughs> do you like a little popsicle made of blueberries and butter? Or would you like to wait on some pancakes? And so then I, then I took all the... <laughs> I took all the blueberries and the butter chunks now. It's like, it looks like crystallized butter. <laughs> Poured it all back into the black cast iron skillet and made this like yummy looking blueberry butter, like this soupy blueberry stuff. Which then, you know, one of the great things about putting frozen blueberries into a pancake is you get these discreet blue dots in your, you know, tan pancake, golden pancake. And, uh, but when you make blueberry butter soup and add that to the mix, you now get a uniformly, especially when you're using whole wheat flour, you get a uniformly gray pancake. <laughs> it's no longer the vibrant blue. <laughs> it's no longer golden. It was just this gray pancake. Luckily they tasted okay. <laughs> But whoopsie daisy, I made gray pancakes for everybody this morning. Big, just sort of puddles of, mm, yeah. You had to kind of close your eyes and they tasted fantastic. But it was just one of those whoopsie daisies, like things happen. Then I had another funny whoopsie daisy. A friend was texting me. I love this woman. And, um, so I use voice memos a lot because I just like to hear the sound quality. I like to, I feel like things can, you know, I find it hard to communicate my humor and my tone just with text sometimes. So sometimes I'll use a voice memo. And so she was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send her a voice memo back. So she starts to send a voice memo and she goes, hey, Winston, comma, new sentence, capitalize. <laughs> So she started using it like it was voice dictation instead of a voice memo as like a recording like you'd get on your voice messages. But she was giving all the breaks as though she was using voice dictation on her phone. And, even, and then she just did a ton of it. So it was like dot, 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 new line, capital, dot, 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 new line, capital, every few sentences. She went through a whole conversation like that. <laughs> and she sends it to me and I'm listening to it and I'm like, what is the dot, dot, dot for? Because at first it wasn't like capital new line. That stuff must have come later. Because I just first noticed the dot, dot, dot. Like she's talking dot, dot, dot. I'm like, huh, okay, I'm not following. Then she sends a, and then I catch on. And then she sends a follow-up memo. She's like, oh, yes, I'm sending a voice memo. I'm not dictating. <laughs> and she's like, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> oh. So those are both just, opportunities to laugh in life, opportunities to find the joy in the humor as opposed to defaulting to irritation or embarrassment. Um, 
And you do it with little things, little things like that, and, and actively try and find the humor so that when the bigger things, the bigger wobbles in life come along, you have primed yourself. It's, it's easier, it's closer within reach uh, to have that laughter and have that relief. And most importantly, not jack up the can chemistry, the irritation and frustration stuff. So I hope these were helpful whoopsie daisies to share with you guys and encouraging y'all to play with it. Just play with it. Let yourself make goofy, silly associations when things go wobbly and you'll build and build a humor arsenal that will serve you well and help rewire your brain. Have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Oh, let's take our three solidarity breaths. May today surprise and delight you. I'll see you tomorrow.